Hi everyone, I hope you are well. I'll use Bradley Valentine's Angel Tarot card deck. I'll choose three from here and I'll also choose three from the Destiny pack as well. And I'm setting the intention for a general reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video straight away. We have one, two and three. Wow, <laughs> I really can't sugarcoat these ones. Um, so they're all air cards, all mental. So we've got the page of air, two of air, and five of air. So this full moon that is coming up on Friday, it is an eclipse. And it is the longest eclipse for hundreds of years. And eclipses are very intense as full moons are but eclipses are magnified and they bring up unhealed wounds and looking at these cards it is being mindful that we don't project our unprocessed baggage onto people or into a situation so the page of air is where messages come in come in and sometimes they come in with no tact they just bypass everything come from the, come straight out they blurted out messages that can come from anger or come from unhealed wounds within us so being mindful if that happens then no it's the energy that it's nothing personal and if we find ourselves doing that to really sit and ground this this energy is calling for us all to ground as we are coming into the full moon in taurus we also have the sun in the zodiac sign of scorpio so we have the grounding and the practical and the deep emotional and sometimes when they come together it can come out in words that are not very kind but straight to the point so don't get offensive listen to what people are saying but don't take things personally and be mindful of how we are speaking as well and then we have the two of her which is the conflicts not knowing really we can't make our mind up we're constantly changing our mind we can't make a decision so the two of her asks us to just sit back and drop into our hearts. Also, because it's coming with the five of her, if there's any conflicts going on around you, look at how, look how, how it is making you feel. Look at if it is creating some kind of wanting to isolate ourselves away from someone or a group, not feeling part of that group anymore, feeling like we're being isolated, could could feel like we're being gossiped about or some something that is you know, all those unicorns are there, not getting any work done, just all chattering and they're coming from their own perceptions that could be coming from unhealed wounds within so don't take things seriously look at how things are playing out around you look at how the situations and and people are making you feel because this is if they're bringing anything up within us that's our we wounds that they are really they're pressing the buttons and we are reacting so instead of reacting take a few moments and just respond from your heart it doesn't matter if that people if we don't get involved in any kind of gossip that's good that shows that shows integrity actually we don't have to feel that we have to be part of a group to to say things about anybody else that are coming from our perception so just being mindful today's they're only minor cards 
but they can cause some upset and this is what this moon phase is doing it's it's going to be the longest lunar eclipse for hundreds of years so it's going to be powerful and like the angels keep coming through telling us it's all about doing our own shadow work especially with scorpio uh, um the sun being in scorpio so things are going to be highlighted and it is how we project that and if we start projecting our own unprocessed baggage into the mix this is what it creates just take a step back just take a step back we don't have to get involved and we don't have to speak from our anger or unsettled emotions and this energy is really doing us a favour of bringing all that up for us to look and sometimes we want to run away from it we don't want to see it we want to push people away and our soul is saying no be mature we don't have to run away from anybody we don't have to hide away from anybody if somebody's making us feel uncomfortable uncomfortable let's let those feelings go now because they don't reside up there in the higher dimensions or should i say within us in that high vibration we're being tested this moon phase is is letting us experience maybe areas that we need to look at within ourselves that we have no control over what anybody else is saying or thinking the only the only person we have control of all we have control of our own emotions and our own thoughts so i can't sugarcoat this just being actually being mindful this energy is pulling emotions up that have uh, been there for maybe lifetimes maybe we're in the presence of somebody who we have calm with and until we love and come into alignment with peace with that person we'll keep coming back and playing out the same scenario so the universe the divine is saying there you go you want peace the only place we can find peace is within we can't find it outside of us it's chaotic outside of us we can go within and grounding really grounding during this week as well and grounding find your own way of grounding whether it is going for a walk especially with the full moon in taurus because it's all about being grounded and being practical meditation is really good for grounding as well especially if you, if you can stay in meditation for about 20 minutes it takes 10 minutes for everything to settle down and then you can really drop into that meditation and that is very grounding and that is very brings brings us into alignment and the base of the card is the eight of water and i have to show you <laughs> The, the card underneath that one is the magician telling us we are not our our wounds we are not what has been done to us we have this essence within this divine intelligence within and when we bring our emotions so things are going to start changing we've got the eight of water here so we know something bigger than what we can understand is happening and we're knowing that the you know the divine is bringing this up really for our benefit not to punish us to actually show us that wow yeah i went in I, I really went on one then and it's no i'm not doing that anymore because it does not serve my soul purpose this is a card of ascension the eight of water letting us know this something this something very powerful happening at this time and it's 
it's leading us up into our ascension and our soul is leading the way not our mind our mind chatter not our our assumptions or our perceptions about anything or anyone it's our soul that's leading us and it's leading us in to a wonderful place into a beautiful state of mind into a beautiful calm serene energy within so all these things are coming up because these are layers that we've covered on and that we bounce off so somebody does something unkind or we perceive it to be unkind they might not even be aware of what they're doing we take it to heart and then we start to push away this card is saying look at that look at it because the more we resist this is layers upon layers we are, are now shifting through so as we go with the flow let things go out over our head and actually do the internal work peacefully and quietly this is the card of ascension and, and with this card we know that it's something powerful there's a divine force guiding us and we're moving away from what we perceive to be good or, or what we perceive to be right because we've gone into careers that stress us we've gone into relationships that uh, are not are less than love we have had lots of lots of of healing to do and now we're realizing that we don't have to settle for that if it comes in then it we work with it and we we heal because there's some karma going on and especially with with um tr loves that come together maybe twin flames that come together they do lots of purging as they're going through their ascension and that's what their souls have contracted to do sacred contracts to really help each other to ascend through the pureness of love and this is what this card's all about it's about letting go of going into our mind into that illusion and creating stories letting go of projecting into the future and the past and bringing it all together into a big lump a big rock that we can't move past because we're too busy looking into it everything that's not right it's shifting that coming into our soul into our heart into our heart that is just the pureness of love not that tells us that oh I can't go in my heart because I've been hurt and I'm scared of getting hurt it would move it that's that is a layer that that is that has got to be healed to be able to ascend because up there in or deep within in our purest vibration there is only love there's no there is no um a boundary there it's just open it's oneness it's expansion nothing holds it tight so these cards yeah they are just reminding us and it's good to be aware because this is what the energy is and it's good that we can go within and we can do that work on ourselves we can't tell anybody else what to do and how they're behaving is not right because then we are judging and we are telling that person even more that they're not good they're a failure that they, they don't make us happy they whatever whatever come back in follow your your soul follow it into there's something far greater than this material world far greater and as we move into that that expansion we never have to worry about anything ever again ever so when this is what this is it's pushing us into this and then beneath that we have the magician so the magician archangel raziel come in saying we've got everything within us and when we balance 
uh, we work with the elements and we balance it out, which are our thoughts. And we we calm and still the water, the emotions, which are water. And we find our passion, which is fire. And we are then bringing all those into alignment to actually manifest on earth. Bringing it all together, anchoring it on earth and allowing it to manifest in the most beautiful and harmonious ways. And this is at the essence what everybody wants. So we're being shown where we are blocking ourselves from achieving this. And everybody outside of us is playing a part to help us. The ones that press our buttons the most are the ones that are our greatest healers. So when we bring it in together, come into alignment, and Archangel Raziel is helping us. And it is easy, it's easier to choose peace than go and start losing it with someone and getting all irate about something. And then as soon as it's done, there's guilt there then. And it just goes deeper and deeper and lower and lower. So stepping back, allow everybody to play their part without diving in the center of it and causing lots of commotion, lots of conflicts and to the point where you feel that you can't enter that group. You can't, you're not friends with those people anymore because ultimately this is our test. This is our, our karma to, to, to be able to accept. And if we, if people uh, don't, are uh, not um, in alignment with this uh, with us anymore that's fine we don't have to go and start pushing away things just happen that fall away without any conflict without any uneasiness so they are the cards so i'll ask now the spirit of the destiny to please bring through some messages for us for our highest and greatest god for anyone who Use this video, asking now for a message. So there we have one, two, let's see if that, that was one, two, and three. So underneath the page of air, we have the book saying things are happening energetically to just step back have patience don't lose patience with people don't get frustrated with people no matter how they're acting realize everything outside of us is coming from within these are our lenses that we are projecting out and all this reality is playing from within so they're saying there's positive things coming we're just not seeing them yet that's fine we're just being asked to have patience to do that shadow work to go in especially this time if you're wanting to walk your spiritual path and and tap in to that all your spiritual gifts, we have to do the shadow work because they're the layers that actually distort it, distort everything. Then the two of air is the full moon, everything being amplified and the moon affects the tides, it affects water and, and we are 75 even more percent water. So be mindful of what moon phase we're traveling into before we go into any kind of falling out or into any kind of conflict, even with ourselves. Ground, meditate, empty your mind, come into alignment, come into that divine essence that is just stillness. And from that place of stillness, there is profound healing and we get profound divine guidance so working with the moon 
allowing it to do what it is doing, bringing up our emotions, all those thoughts, sell your emotion and we're not just doing it from this lifetime, we're doing it from past lives and we're here during this time and we're ascending in this physical body so be gentle with your body making sure you're drinking lots of water having your salt baths finding time where you just sat in silence and then the five of her is the scythe so things are falling away and the more we try and blame somebody because they've changed or we are feeling not happy there that we, we move away with conflict we move away with that energy that frequency that vibration still playing out within our being so the next time we come into a group or we go into a new office or we we go we, we have a new circle of friends it all starts to play out again this is the side saying cut the card from those emotions not the people it's not the people because they will go and will draw the same experiences in sometimes it's worse actually so cut the card of how you're feeling and just accept that person and if they want to to move away allow your hands to relax and let everything fall away don't grasp hold of anything because that's when we suffer if, visualize relaxing your hands and allowing everything any conflict to just melt away through the tips of your fingers and thumbs, just completely letting go. And as you let go, sink deeper and breathe to peace. And then the base of the card is the dog, loyalty, unconditional love, reminding us that's what we're here to do, that, that's what we've come to do. And sometimes we do forget. It's so easy to go into that we know best or letting people know how they're making us feel when in effect nobody makes us feel anything, only us. And we will create stories around people that doesn't, doesn't put them in a good light. And that is, that we are holding ourselves in that energy. So this is the eight of water. With the dog, unconditional love and loyalty. We have a divine energy, a divine force within us and around us that would never go into conflict with anyone. Because when we go into conflict with anyone, we're actually going to war within it with ourselves we go into battle within ourselves and it is just let things drop away regardless and, and work on how you're feeling it's a very powerful time and it's going to be a long time before we have this type of lunar eclipse again so let's make full use of it of Right, one time I would perhaps get stuck in there and tell everybody how I feel. This time I'm not. I am not. And see what happens. Let it all go. Because people are going through so much and have been through so much. And they're speaking from fear. They're speaking from, from painful emotions. And if we start taking that to heart... We are just absorbing. We will just keep going down and down and they will feed. They will feel that misalignment within us. It, it's not that we take their stuff on. They, we actually start to feed our own stuff with it. Our own wounds, our own toxicity. And as we are there with compassion and with empathy, and if anybody's falling out, it's okay. Give it a few days and everybody's back to normal again. This is a powerful moon. This is a powerful week. Stay focused on why we're here. We're not here to get in 
and upset people or move away from people even we're here to allow the divine to work through us let's get ourselves out the way and let this energy this beautiful energy that's flowing through now let it flow through us this divine will flow through us and let it take us on that stream on on that ocean of higher consciousness to where we're meant to be so i'm sending so much love so we've got five eight nine ten seven so this is working with the chakras making sure our crown is nice and clear to take in these heavenly messages that are coming through making sure our sacral is listening to how we are reacting in especially relationships and you know taurus the is ruled by venus so that's all about love and beauty and, and creativity. So as we're focusing on that, we will just sail through this energy. We will sail through it. And synchronicities will come in. We'll get things done really easily without mishaps. So, and yes, the, the angels are saying, stay grounded, keep grounding yourself, keep aligning yourself and sending your roots down into the earth and visualize those roots growing and expanding and traveling. And as they're doing that, feel yourself free from all limiting beliefs. Feel yourself liberated and feel that sovereign being within you as you're sending those roots down when we are being controlled by how other people are treating us, we are not being sovereign. We're giving all our power away. Come back into this moment. Ground, ground, ground. Out there in nature, meditation, a nice salt bath, however you need to. Challenging, few cards, but the antidote to those cards and what is this energy bringing up is heavenly. So, I'm, oh yes, and the seven of the chakras coming into alignment, allowing these chakras to transcend. No matter what's going on, don't get tempted to go in. And if we do, it's okay. Apologize. Step back, take some nice deep breaths and just let everything play out how it's meant to without any interference with any of our thoughts or upsets just let it let it play out so i'm sending so much love have a beautiful beautiful day remember call on archangel raziel to help us to keep these elements within us in balance Okay, so I'm sending so much love and thank you so much for listening. God bless. Thank you.